small and bowel is eviscerated and brought out to the, to the right or side. inside, but to the patient right hand side. Okay. Either you can either you can put if it's a big big belly, you can push it up out of the way. But usually it's easier just to eviscerate it, wrap it in a nice moist towel, bring it outside, make sure it's not twisted, make sure it's not turning purple, and set it right here on the side. And then once we did this, you get to open the through peritoneum. Mid midline. Yeah. Midline. So then you take your meds and this. You're gonna make a. You're gonna come right here. If you stay anterior to the order. If you stay anterior to the order, you're going to be okay, except until you get up in this area, which you have to watch out for a while. What's crossing over here? Uh, the left renal vein. Left renal vein, remember? And when we start with that. So that, that's going to be basically your superior landmark. So at this station, um, we're practicing a carotid endarterectomy, and um, we've put a celastic loop around the common carotid artery um, to practice the technique for um, ligating it. Um, and we're about to practice again with the internal carotid artery um, for more practice. <laughs> when they get the teamwork between all the members, between the surgical staff here and the, all the medical students, they feel the environment and they feel the energy for our mission and eventually all of this will be ultimately getting more inspiration from the medical students and more us to grow and to help eventually our patient care. I'm doing all the work here. Instead of just kind of watching, I'm actually doing a lot more here. Um, and I'm doing some of the more fine-tuned uh, techniques that we can't really practice in there because of the high-risk situations that go into surgery. So it's really cool to be able to try to practice it on my own. Have attendings that have the time right now to really teach us the techniques instead of um, you know, trying to get through the surgery. So it's cool.